going on people it's your boy brass tax in this bitch hope you guys are well hope everyone's having a fantastic week now firstly i want to say that your boy is a ufc fan is a huge ufc fan he's also a huge wwe fan been watching wwe since i was like 15 in this bitch your boy 37 now it's been a long time your boy been watching ufc ever since ufc 10 gracie's and all that shit i'm really looking forward to ufc 202 can't motherfucking wait so let's get down to it conor mcgregor be calling out wwe calling them a bunch of pussies and what have you saying they can't do what they do fair enough okay he's saying all that shit and obviously because it's Conor McGregor, this has created some kind of uproar in this bitch, right? Everyone losing their mind. WWE fans are coming out saying, ah, oh, you know, running their mouth. And then you've got UFC fans running their mouth. And all I will say is this. I'm a big Conor McGregor fan. Big Conor McGregor fan. Conor McGregor is the best shit talker there is. A close second is Chel Sonnen. Well, actually, maybe Chel Sonnen, depending on how you look at it. Chel Sonnen and Conor McGregor on par in this bitch, yeah? That's a side point. Now, let me talk about this. I know he sent a tweet clarifying his stance but he's just pretty much saying the same thing anyway let's just keep it real I'm not here trying to convert anyone because you either love wwe or you don't love wwe these dudes work 300 days a year you know they got the show on a monday they got raw monday they got smackdown on tuesday that's not all they do they're on the road they're they're doing house shows everything is it a sport no it's not a sport yeah i don't even like calling it sports entertainment it's just entertainment is everything predetermined and choreographed sure right but people are, wrestlers have broke their necks, wrestlers got injured. It's a very physical, physical sport. I remember back in the day, my, my, my friend, it was his birthday, he hired out a wrestling ring. A legit wrestling ring. And we were messing about, messing around. Now come on, let's keep it real. Your boy ain't a lightweight, yeah? Your boy, your boy took a, a back body drop on that bitch and his whole soul got hurt. That shit, that canvas is nasty. Do you know what I'm saying? That shit hurts like a motherfucker. And these guys are doing it day in and day out. And it takes a tremendous toll on the families. Uh, and you've got to be in tremendously good shape, right? Now, there's a lot of people who, who wanted to become wrestlers who couldn't make it to the WWE, right? Because of the physical and all of that other shit, right? There's other concussions, everything. Another thing is, a lot of people kind of miss this, but a lot of wrestlers have said in, in documentaries, interviews and everything that if UFC was around at the time and if it was pretty big at the time, then they would have done that rather than done WWE. And you do have you do have some legit you do have some legit athletes. You have Kurt Angle, you have Brock Lesnar, you have Bobby Lashley. There's a few of them, do you know what I mean, who are proper athletes. And I know Batista as well had a little stint in MMA and he I think he did pretty well. As far as I know, don't quote me. As far as I know, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, although it's a little tainted now because dude failed the drug test. But um and then you got CM Punk. I'm going to keep it real with you. I, I can't see CM Punk doing well in this at all. I would like him to because I think it'd be a, a, a low-key W for the WWE. But I, I just can't see him. I can't see it. I can't see any success in this fight. Fighters also. UFC fighters also. You get two to three matches a year. But they're training all the time. It's a, it's a, they're two can very, very different things. But to, to call wrestlers pussies and stuff, that shit is fucking hard work. It's really hard work. It's like... I, I'm pretty sure UFC couldn't do what WWE does. And I'm you know, pretty sure WWE can't do what UFC does. But it's just... That's a, that's an extremely, extremely cold-blooded thing to say. But that's Conor McGregor for you. And I found the shit funny. Now, you got to ask yourself. Is this part of some bigger thing? You know? Is this a kind of scratch my back, I'll scratch yours between the WWE and the UFC? You know, they gave Brock Lesnar. Was there some kind of agreement that Conor McGregor may show up on a WrestleMania or something? You don't know, right? You don't know. But in any case, choreographed, yeah. Everything, yeah. But is it fake? Yeah, it's, it's predetermined. But the shit motherfucking hurts. It hurts. Accidents happen, things happen all the time. And you're putting, you know, you're putting a tremendous strain on your body. So... Is he wrong for that statement? Yeah, he doesn't fully understand the statement. I know he did say that Triple he's cool with Triple H and The Rock and everything because they're dons, but then he's also chummy chummy with these guys too. And you know, people saying WWE, right? Everyone on steroids and all that shit, regardless of their wellness policy and what have you. And my answer to that is, yeah, okay, fair enough. But then, have you seen UFC with all the suspensions lately? And I don't know what's worse. UFC is a is a is a competitive sport. That's probably a worse thing, whereas WWE is entertaining. And I think it's a little bit disrespectful considering that a lot of Conor McGregor's persona 
is very WWE. If he didn't have that persona, would he be as big a star as he is? No. No. People like shit talkers. And it is what it is. That's my take on it. I think he's wrong for that one. On a side point, UFC 202 is coming up. And I hope, I hope he wins. You know, I really want him to win. But look, guys, we're talking Nate Diaz here. Do you know what I mean? The dude, the dude won the last fight with pretty much little to no training camp. Now he's got a training camp. Now Conor McGregor's setting, you know, getting ready and stuff. But the thing is, I don't know. I really want him to win. I don't. I can't see that happening. I just can't. But I would love it if he did. But there we have it, people. People talking shit. What can you do? Your boy out in this bitch.